So hi everyone, my name is Kimberly Montgomery and I'm going to be presenting uh, some of the results from my master's thesis, which looked at evaluating source water contributions to stream flow in a mixed land use Precambrian shield watershed. And so the picture that you can see here, the background picture, is a Water Survey of Canada gauging station located in Valcarin, Ontario. Um, and so I will be presenting the results from this site uh, specifically. Next slide. So the main objectives for this research were to assess source to assess sources of water to stream flow using geochemical tracers of O18 deuterium and chloride, and then use mixing models to calculate the percent contributions of groundwater and surface water to stream flow, and finally compare tracer-based hydrograph separation and graphical hydrograph separation techniques. And so the pictures that you can see on the side here are just some field photos from data collection and exploration within the watershed. Next slide. So the study watershed for um, my thesis was the Whitson River watershed, and it's located just a five minute drive north of the city of Sudbury. And the maps that you can see here, the bottom one is quaternary geology, and the top one is land use slash land cover. And so combining these two things together, we used uh, we use this data to um, determine site locations of where we could collect data, but also determine dominant uh, water sources. So for example, Rob, if you could highlight over the T6-1 site there. So this deposit here is showing that it's a wetland deposit, and then using the land cover more specifically, we've it's been identified as a fen wetland deposit. So next slide. So using this information, um, I created uh, two component and three component mixing models to identify directly sources of water to stream flow. So if we look at the two component mixing model, we can see that stream flow, which is the orange circles, um, are bounded by groundwater, which are the blue triangles, and surface water, which is a combination of lakes, which is the purple circles, and wetlands, which are the green circles. And then the three component mixing model, we can see that both groundwater and surface water, again, are sources to stream flow, but we've identified a third source of water, which is labeled as urban groundwater. And we've de defined it this way because it is isotopically similar to groundwater, but has higher chloride concentrations. And so looking at the ambient groundwater, uh, which is represented by the light blue box plots at the bottom there, chloride concentrations are variable, but generally lower. Um, when we look at the urban groundwater site just upstream, we found that uh, gr uh, the groundwater was high in chloride concentrations um, consistently. Next slide, please. So using the two component and the three component mixing models, uh, we did hydrograph separation. And so the area underneath the hydrograph that is gray represents surface water contributions, black represents groundwater contributions. And if you look at the bottom figure, uh, this is the three component mixing model and so the blue area is urban groundwater contributions and so we see that groundwater contributions are high in the summer um, but in the fall surface water really dominated the majority of flows um, graphical hydrograph separation which can be seen on the bottom graph um, showed that uh, so we have the daily discharge which is the black line uh, from the Water Survey of Canada Valkyrie Station. And then the red line is our calculated base flow. And so base flow from the graphical method is showing similar amounts of groundwater contributions in the summertime, but suggests that this method would overestimate groundwater contributions or base flow contributions during the fall. Next slide. So in conclusion, both the two component and three component mixing models define groundwater and surface water as sources to stream flow. And all the models showed with low uncertainty, the amount of groundwater and surface water contributing stream flow over time. Um, and finally, the graphical hydrograph separation method show, uh, sorry, hydrograph separation methods show that groundwater is a significant source uh, to the Whitson River under base low conditions. And so I wanna thank everyone for listening to my presentation.